sushi bars here in no, Moscow. No. According to the concierge at the hotel, this is the happening place in Moscow. Our jet takes off in three hours, Simon, remember. Which gives us plenty of time to celebrate the purchase of our new Russian Nord factory. Yeah, which we haven't bought yet. I still have to sell it to the board at Group W. Don't worry about it tomorrow. Tonight we party! Viva! Spasiva! You're in a cheerful mood tonight. Hey, check this you got out. Got a date? Bought it from a street vendor this morning. Cute. Twist the head. <laughs> we ought to afford these. We'll make millions. <laughs> we don't have a two division. Well, then let's start one. <laughs> Sukovsky is an important politician. He expects special treatment. Not from me. I'm tired of being mauled. I quit. Just give me my money and I'll leave. We have a contract, Vanessa. If I let you go, the other girls will think they can dictate terms too. I don't care about the other girls. You do what I say, Vanessa. With whom I say. Understood? Vasya. Vasily. We'll talk more when I come back. Moscow. Uh, a few months. Before that, I was in Istanbul. Before that, Marrakesh. I travel around a lot. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't told me you have a sister. 
That's a long story. Fact is, we haven't seen each other in years. I had no idea she was in Russia. You're kidding. The important thing is we're back together, right? Listen, I got an idea. Vanessa, why don't you come to New York with us? You guys are going to New York? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love New York! Great! Done. She's gone. She left on the plane 45 minutes ago. Yep, it's a venue. What? A private jet belonging to Largo Winch. The one who's in the papers? The, the guy who's trying to buy the auto factory? But what is she doing with him? He's rich, she's pretty. Or maybe she's trying to sell him the icon. They had it for New York. Book us on the next flight. Sister. Hi there. Hello. So, Joy, anything to report? Report? Uh, no. Joy works for me at the Intel Unit. We supervise security and intelligence for Group W. We also oversee Largo's personal protection. I just wanted to make sure that you were on top of, um, you know, uh, the security problem at Winch Aerospace. Security problem? Missing zero gravity toilet for the International Space Station. Yeah, we found it. One of the scientist's sons borrowed it for a school science project. Oh. Well, good work. <laughs> get to stay here? Of course. Your family. I'm sorry if I was a boob out there, but she's my sister, you know? Apology accepted. And you are a boob. I can't believe this! <gasps> this is amazing! <gasps> I like him, big brother. It's very cool. So, I should be getting to work. Yeah, me too. So what do you think of her? She seems nice. How long is she going to be around? I don't know. A while, I guess. bad idea. Why? We can buy the factory for virtually nothing. And there's a town full of skilled labor. Labor that's been unemployed ever since they closed down a year ago. Now, we can build high-quality cars at a fraction of what they cost in the West. I admit it sounds good. But given the instabilities of the Russian political system, unconcerned investment there right now might not be a smart idea. Russia needs foreign venture capital. A move like this by a company like Group W Enterprises could prompt other corporations to follow. It's not our responsibility to repair the economy of a floundering nation. We are in business to make a profit. We can do both. Gentlemen, the lawyer for the Russians should be here any time. Why don't we wait for his proposal?
afternoon. Hello. I'm uh, Yuri Zirakovich. I have a three o'clock with Mr. Largo Winch. Yes, sir. Mr. Winch is waiting for you in the boardroom. 59th floor, elevators over there. And perhaps you can tell me, I believe a friend of mine is also here somewhere. Vanessa? Vanessa Alvarez? Yes, she's staying in one of the guest apartments on the 58th floor. Number seven. Seven, my lucky number. Thanks. My pleasure. Have a nice day, sir. Sana Zarakovich here? Thank you. He's on his way up. I can't believe we actually bought all this stuff. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> it's just... It's really good to see you again. Yes, it is. You know, I... I tried to find you. When I got out, nobody knew where you were. I didn't have any money, so I dodged the cops for a while. I didn't want to sell drugs or work the streets. So I got a job <laughs> at Minsky's Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> we traveled all over Europe. I kept meaning to write. Sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. My big brother. Oh, he's taking care of me. I gotta go. We'll go out for dinner, okay? Oh, um, could, can Largo come too? Sure. I mean, he may already have other plans, but uh, I'll ask him. Okay. Gabriella, I thought Zarakovich was on his way up. Well, let me talk to the lobby. Lobby security. This is Mr. Winch. There was a man there a few minutes ago, Mr. Zarakovich? Yes, Mr. Winch. We sent him up. Are you sure he got the right floor? Yes, sir. Although... What? Well, he did ask about Ms. Overnaz. Said she was a friend and wanted to know where she was staying. Maybe he... Stopped by to say hello? Largo. Largo! Kuleshov. The guy from the club in Moscow. The one you were arguing with. Yeah, he was the club manager and also the reason why I wanted to get out of there. He had this obsession about me, like... He just wouldn't leave me alone. So he, he followed you here all the way from Russia? Some obsession. <clears throat> Zorakovich is dead. How? Nine millimeter to the back of the head. NYPD found his body in a dumpster behind a Times Square theater. Poor guy was just trying to make a deal for his boss. Wrong place, wrong time. Kerensky ran Kuleshov through Interpol. A dozen arrests, including attempted murder and suspected ties to the Russian mafia. I can't believe I walked right past him. Simon, it's okay. You, you didn't know. He kept saying bore. What's that mean? Um, it means whore. Well, at least it's over. Police are going to need the apartment as a crime scene for at least the next 24 hours. Vanessa can stay with me tonight. I want to stay here. Here? 
There's no danger. Kuleshov is dead and we put on extra security. I feel safe here. I won't be any trouble, I promise. I could sleep on the couch here. Okay. Michael, shut up. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. When you talk to me, you do it with respect. You lose the icon. Your man gets himself killed trying to get it back. And you want respect. I brought you in on this deal, damn it. And I'm the one who found our Taiwanese buyer. And do you think he's going to pay $17 million if the centerpiece is missing? Even you must be smart enough to figure that out. Don't push me too far, Greenaway. You won't like what happens. No, I don't trust her. She's all sweetness and vulnerability, but it's just an act. And that story about her obsessed boyfriend, I don't buy it. Is she cute? I guess, if you like the type. What type is that? Too much makeup, not enough clothes. Right. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Does Largo like her? I guess. Right. OK, now that meant something. <laughs> You're jealous. <laughs> I'm not. <sighs> I'm not. You're crazy. My mistake. Well, what do you know? That's her Interpol arrest record. Petty theft, Istanbul, breaking and entering Madrid. Pickpocketing Athens, petty theft, Paris. A real one-woman crime wave. Kerensky, a Russian. What does vor mean? Vor. Thief. I was lonely. Don't I turn you on? Absolutely. It's because I'm Simon's sister, right? Probably. Look, can I just... Stay here, please. Yeah. I'll take the couch. No. It's just... I want to be close to someone. I won't do anything. I promise. You guys are up? V? I figured today I'd take Vanessa to see the... Simon. Hi. Hi. Hey, Simon. Hey, Simon. I'm sorry. It's not what it looks like. Sure, whatever. Hey, Simon! Simon, listen to me! 
Damn. Simon! Let me explain. Simon, wait! Say good morning. Whatever. Morning. Could you two step outside? Now. Please. Maybe I'm not saying it right. Simon. I can't believe you slept with her. You can have any woman you want. Why did it have to be her? Nothing happened. Oh, you're right. Don't give me that. You didn't come on to her. She came on to you because you're so irresistible. Simon, she didn't want to sleep alone. We were in the same bed, that's all. Hey, look at me. You're my best friend. I wouldn't do that to you. Hey. I swear. I swear. I'm sorry, man. I'm stupid. It's just that I still think of her as being a 15-year-old kid, you know? Yeah, I know. Come on, it's coffee time. So, what is it? She's not pretty enough for you? Art galleries. Great. I swear it was all a mistake. I found the guy's wallet on the street. I was going to turn it in. Look, it's okay. The guy isn't going to press any charges. Simon, there's something we need to talk about. What? In private. If it's about Vanessa, I think you should say it in front of her. Did you get this from Interpol? It's Vanessa's arrest record. You ran a check on my sister? It's Joey's job to check out anyone who gets near me, know that. Look, I know V's had some trouble. Some? When we were kids, but that was a long time ago. Those arrests are within the last five years.
I'm really sorry, Simon. Sorry? Like you were when you were 15. How could you do this to me? After what I've done for you. I don't know what to say. Hey, don't say anything. It's not your fault. But it is. That's exactly the problem. What are you talking about? Hey. Come on, talk to me. V and I, we... We, we grew up hard, you know? Our dad died, our mom took off, all we had was each other. I had to take care of us. So I learned how to steal, and I taught V. When she was 15, she, the cops caught her, trying to sell some stolen jewelry. I said I was the thief, and I went to jail for her. You did? Yeah, because I was the one who showed her how to steal. I was the one who deserved to be punished. I was the older brother. So if you want to be angry at somebody, be angry at me, not her. Who's angry? Hey. Simon, Vanessa's not a kid anymore. She's an adult. She makes her own choices. Let's go talk to her. Chinglization India. Bubal Chang Nang Jiao Hua. Pao. Oi Nang Dao. Joda Jeng Waginin. I told him there would be a delay on the delivery. Now he's willing to wait. But he's ready to cancel at any time. You better find that centerpiece soon. Get it. Have I heard that before? Hey, V. Hi. What are you hiding there? What? Give it back. Where'd it's you mine. get this, V? Huh? Who'd you steal it from? He owed me money. Who did? Bardeen, the owner of the club. I don't know much about art, but this looks cheap to me. Bardeen's not an idiot. Everybody knows he trades in stolen antiquities. So then you stole it from him. Great. Yes, I stole it. So what? Hey, wait a minute. The back of the frame is loose. Oh, wow. This is amber. Some real gold. Whatever this is, we have to give it a customs. What? No way. You know what the penalty is for smuggling stolen Russian antiquities? This picture's mine. This isn't just about you, Vanessa. You smuggled this into the country on my plane. I could have been arrested along with you. Ever stop to think of that? Huh? John, Largo. I've got a situation here I need to talk to you about. Yeah. Hey, I, I know it's late. It's important. Fifteen minutes. I'm gonna go see Sullivan to figure out a way to handle this. Maybe there's a way to keep Vanessa from being arrested. I don't understand you, V. I spent the last ten years feeling guilty about what I taught you. But you know what? It's over. I don't feel guilty anymore. Yeah. Hey, Joan, what's up? Look, I know Largo told you about Vanessa's record. But Krinsky's come up with something else I think you should know about. Apparently, she's on a suspect list when the Russian Ministry of the Interior wanted for questioning in connection with some missing Russian antiquities. Does it say what they are? Still checking on that. Okay, thanks. Guess what? Mm, Vanessa. 
security cam outside. And that's Vanessa coming out. So, Joy, what are we looking at? That. Somebody's following her? Somebody had this building and Vanessa under surveillance. Maybe it's the guy she ripped off. Bordin? She's in trouble. It's a rental signed out to somebody named Nikolai Semenko here on a Russian passport. We gotta find a car. Oh, it's a big city. That's weird. What? Semenko. He flew to New York on an Aeroflot plane that left Moscow an hour before your jet did. So how do you know where she was going? Unless somebody was listening to everything she was saying. Everything we were saying. Hey, you think they planted a transmitter on her? Maybe not on her. The icon. Didn't you say Vanessa was on a suspect list from the Russian Ministry of the Interior? Yeah, that's right. Scan a mile radius of the Group W building. We're looking for a radio transmission on Russian military frequencies. Can you? I'll share the money with you 50-50. Vanessa, don't you realize who I am? You're the son of a bitch who wants to steal my icon. Hey! Hey! Vanessa! Stop! Vanessa! Get in the car! What? Get in the car! Oh. Get, get, get out! Got it. It's not military, though. It's a Russian police frequency. In an alley half a mile from here, and it's not moving. Thanks. We're on our way. Where's my sister? I said, where is she? I don't know. Like hell! Simon! It's not the enemy. I found something. It's a transmitter. You're with the Russian government, aren't you? It's from Damage! Simon! You were tracking the icon. Who were you after? Borodin? If they got Vanessa, they're probably gonna kill her. We need your help. It was Borodin. We were tracking the icon to find out who his American partner is. And to find the chapel. What chapel? Amber and gold. The Amber Chapel? We thought it was lost forever. So what's the Amber Chapel? Uh, a 17th century chapel in the Tsarina Summit House, built of amber and gold. Some called it the eighth wonder of the world, but it disappeared during World War II. How does a whole chapel disappear? In 1941, the German army was poised to invade Russia. So the palace curator ordered the chapel disassembled, panel by panel. They were then hidden in three trucks all headed for Moscow. What, the whole, the whole chapel? But along the way, the trucks vanished. And for 60 years, the chapel has been missing. Until now. Somehow, Borodin discovered its hiding place. And for the last few months, he has been smuggling it out, piece by piece. We managed to intercept the centerpiece, and we put the transmitter in it. But Vanessa screwed things up when she stole it. Exactly. And now they have her and the icon. Do you have any idea where they would have taken her? No. What about Borodin's American partner? 
All we know is that he has an art gallery somewhere in Manhattan. You know how many galleries there are in the city? Well, if they're partners, Bourdin must have been in contact with him since he got here. Maybe Kerensky could help us out. <laughs> it truly is magnificent. How long before you can deliver the rest of the chapel? As soon as I get back to Moscow. I'll book you on the midnight flight. Good. That should give me just enough time for unfinished business. Okay, I've got a list of phone calls Bonadin made from his hotel, but I don't see any art galleries. Read me the name. Three calls to Moscow, one to Global Airlines, one to a cell phone for some guy named Greenaway. Wait, Greenaway? Yeah, Michael Greenaway, why? Isn't there a place on 7th called the Greenaway Gallery? There is. Mr. Greenaway, there's something I need to talk to you about. Aren't you? Margot Winch. I'm really rather busy, Mr. Winch, so if you could just tell me what's on your mind. One million dollars. It's a down payment. For what? The Amber Chat. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. I know you and Borodin have been smuggling it in piece by piece. Whatever your buyer has offered, I'll top it. That's a down payment to prove that I'm serious. Stay right where you are, Mr. Winch. Or you'll find yourself extremely dead. He knows about the chapel. He wants to buy it. Of course he knows about the chapel, you idiot. He's the one who's been protecting the girl. I haven't been protecting her. She offered to sell me the icon. And how did you know to come here? I have my sources. We already have a buyer. <laughs> you have a tire kicker. I'm ready to write you a check. Up here. What's the offer on the table? 17 million. I'll give you 25. We'll take it. Wait. First, tell me how you knew we were here. Who cares? He's offering us 25 million. It could be a setup. Last chance, Mr. Witch. Talk or die. I hate to make decisions under pressure. Five, four, three. All right. All right, I'll tell you. I'm listening. But first, there's something I have to show you. It's in the pocket of my coat. Wait. I'll get it. Cute, huh? You think I'm joking? Uh, there's something inside. The, the head comes off. Open it. to make decisions under pressure. Mm. Okay. <sighs> the deal 
deal we made with the Russian authorities is you waive any opposition to extradition in exchange for three months in prison followed by three years probation in a supervised work program. What kind of work program? File clerk at our new auto plant outside Moscow. File clerk? Well, I guess I'll survive. You work hard, you'll get promoted. Yeah, who knows, maybe I'll end up running the company. Wouldn't surprise me. You know I hate to say thanks. Thanks. I'll come see you soon. And you can come see me too. Oh, come on, do we have to do that? sister, you know. <laughs> I know you think I was wrong to take responsibility for what V did. But the truth is, the reason I straight now was because of my friendship to you. And V never had anybody like you in her life. Hey, she does now. She has you. Yellow. Nikolai, why are you still at the airport? She what? What? You're kidding. What? No way. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Well, good luck. Why, 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 why? Vanessa's gone. <laughs> Five minutes before they were to <laughs> board the plane, she gave Nikolai this slip. <laughs> They searched the airport, no sign of her. I don't believe her. That's not all. Nikolai says his wallet's missing. <laughs> I don't think it's funny. 